What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have some breaking news in the crypto space, some news that will change the crypto space forever for the better. The Ethereum ETFs have been approved by the SEC and they are now live for trading. Watcher Guru reported this first. He said, breaking news, the SEC has officially approved all spot Ethereum ETF. And the speculation around this actually sent the price of Ethereum flying. We're trading at $3,800 right now for ETH, but about a week ago, we saw ETH below $3,000. Now, I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen with the Ethereum price. If it's similar to Bitcoin, then we'll probably expect to see a run up, a little bit of a dump, and then all time highs. That's what happened with Bitcoin back in January. And one thing I've learned in the crypto space is that history does tend to repeat itself. So I won't be surprised if we see all time highs for Ethereum, which is over $4,900 sometime in May or in sometime in June. Now we've seen all type of massive companies like Vanguard, Fidelity, BlackRock, Grayscale all file for the ETF. And you can see that BlackRock spot Ethereum ETF has now been listed on the DTCC under the ticker cash tag ETHA. And a lot of people might be wondering, why are these ETFs so big? Well, look, you and I were in the crypto space. We download Coinbase or we download whatever exchange and we buy Ethereum. But think about most people, most people in America, at least they they're 55 years old. They have a job, they have a mortgage, they have kids in college. They don't have time to go through and buy stocks, right? What they traditionally do is they have a money manager that works at Fidelity or Vanguard. They give them an allocated budget each year, let's say 25 to $50,000. And those guys make purchases on their behalf. That's the same thing. That's why these ETFs are big, because now these people that work at Van uh, Vanguard and Fidelity can now purchase these spot ETFs on behalf of their customer. There's also more big news when it comes to Ethereum. This came from Coinbase's chief legal officer. As earlier today, he said that Ethereum is effectively deemed as a commodity and not a security, which we all expected that it was a commodity, not a security. And now it is pretty clear that Ethereum will be used and viewed as a commodity. And this is probably some of the biggest news, maybe even bigger than the Ethereum ETFs coming out. The US House passed a bill to ban the Federal Reserve from creating a central bank digital currency or a CBDC. I am definitely afraid of a CBDC in America because it's kind of like what's happening in China. You have a social credit score. If you run a red light or you do something wrong or you speak out against the government, they can dock your bank, right? So if that happened in America, which look, four years ago with the Democrats and what was going on, it was possible if you spoke out or you talked about the Hunter Biden laptop theory, like there was a chance in 10 years if we did have CBDCs that you could get your money docked. So I'm happy that the House passed this bill and I'm happy that they're flipping pro crypto. And they're going so pro crypto, almost too much pro crypto, that Senator Cynthia Loomis out of Wyoming, she's a Republican, she said, quote unquote, we are building a pro crypto army in Congress. And crypto has gotten so politicized that even Nancy Pelosi is voting on pro crypto bills. So Nancy Pelosi actually voted yesterday in favor of crypto bill Fit 21. And like I said, crypto has 100% been politicized. I'm not surprised though because it's all about money and what do politicians want more than anything they want power and they want money so it makes sense that they see all of this money in the cryptocurrency space they saw donald trump accepting crypto donations they saw the reaction from donald trump and people in the in who are voting when donald trump said these he's for crypto he likes crypto so i'm not surprised but then again we all know that politicians say a lot of things and they don't really do a lot of things so even though they're flipping pro crypto does that mean if they get reelected that they will be pro crypto in 2024 to 2028 i'm not too sure about it i still think that a vote for trump is a vote for crypto and a vote for biden is a vote for four years of the same so that's the video a lot happened in eight hours guys congress is turning pro crypto they're passing bills uh we saw the ethereum etfs approved the house passed a bill so that the federal reserve cannot create CBDCs, which I think is bullish. And Ethereum is deemed as a commodity and not a security. Big news coming in the month of May, guys. Bullish news for all cryptocurrency investors. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Make sure to retweet this video. Hit that like button if you haven't yet. And as always, I appreciate you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you all on the next episode.